baby, come on. Hey guys, I'm Kelsey Bolin, and welcome to workout five of our thigh slimming yoga series by Golden Morris. <laughs> She's amazing. She's gonna kick our butt today, like she has for the first four workouts before. So let's get started. Today, we are gonna open up our hips. So it's very important if you're working on your leg muscles that you spend a little time opening up your hips so that you can get deep down into your chair poses and such. Are you ready? I'm ready, baby. Okay, let's begin in downward baby, facing dog. On. Spread your fingers wide, reach your hips high, feet hip width distance apart, reach your heels for the ground. On your next inhale, bring your right leg high and step it outside of your right palm. Bring your left knee down. And you can stay here, maybe sway side to side a little bit. That feels good. <laughs> or if you want to, come down onto your forearms. That's just gonna take it a little deeper. If you come down here and you're like, oh no, that doesn't feel good, you can always come back up. There are no rules in yoga. Inhale, breathe into it. Maybe rock onto the side of your right foot. Coming onto the edge of your foot, feel a further stretch here. Breathe into it. Beautiful. On your next inhale, you can stay here or come up onto your palms. Maybe reach your left foot back, bring your arm back, and grab a hold of your foot. Now you can stay here or pull your foot further in getting a nice stretch in your quad. What we've been working on this whole series. Yeah. Stretch that out. It's important to stretch it out. Breathe through it. <sighs> Relax your upper body. It's easy when a stretch is a bit intense to want to tense up your shoulders. Let it all go. <sighs> Surrender into this pose. Release your foot down and open your right arm up to the side. Place your right palm on the outside of your right leg. Toe heel your foot to the midline here. Then sink your hips further down. You can remain with your hands on the ground here or you can lift your hands up if you feel comfortable here, and maybe bring your palms to touch overhead, interlace your fingers into a mudra. Inhale, and as you exhale, you can create a back bend here. That's a very deep hip stretch. So if it's a little too much for you, just back off. Inhale, exhale, place your palms down. Step your right foot back to meet your left. Chaturanga, bringing your elbows into your sides. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful job. So we're gonna switch to the other side. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale, place it outside of your right or left Whichever <laughs> palm. <laughs> Whichever side you're on. You can stay here or come down onto your forearms. Beautiful. Get comfortable in this pose. It's normal to feel a bit emotional or a bit overwhelmed when you're doing your hip stretches. Your hips store a lot of tension and emotion, just like your shoulder joints do. So if you feel something come up, just breathe through it. Know that it's natural, normal. Okay, if you're feeling ready, come up onto your palms. Bring your foot back and reach back for your leg. 
Over time, you learn to enjoy it. <laughs> Strong through your upper body. Relax your shoulders down. You're doing great. Exhale, release your foot. Place your left palm outside of your left foot. Toe heel your foot to the midline. And sink down into your hips. You can keep your hands on the ground if you want to, that's fine. Or you can bring them up. Interlace your fingers overhead. And back bend. That thigh is really feeling it, right? Oh, yeah. Inhale up. Exhale, place your palms down. And bring your left foot back to meet your right. Beautiful high plank here. Straight line from the crown of your head down to your heels. Maybe come on to your knees as you chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So our next pose is half pigeon pose. You're gonna bring your right leg high. Exhale through so that your shin is parallel to the top of your mat. You want to flex your right foot to protect your knee joint. And straighten out your foot behind you so it's not sickled. Beautiful. And then the next thing you want to do is find the center of your hips. So you're going to want to creep off to the side here. It's a little less intense, a little more comfortable, but you're not getting a really good hip stretch here. So bring your body over the center of your legs, square your hips and allow yourself to sink down into that. Inhale here. Exhale, walk your hands forward to your own degree. You can stop at any point. And take a few breaths here. On your next inhale, walk your hands back up. Now you have the option to stay here. This is a lovely stretch. Or if you want a little more, bring your left foot around and stack it on top of your right. So your heel is gonna be outside of your right knee. Flexing both legs, inhale here. And exhale, start to walk forward. You'll notice that you have a little less space in your hips here. Baby, come on. on your next inhale, walk your hands up. And gently release your feet out of pigeon. We're going to bring the soles of our feet together. Find length in your spine. And then fold forward, nose towards toes. Inhale, roll up. And then bring your feet out to the side. Create length in your spine, and then reach up and over. You'll feel this in your side body, as well as your hips and legs. Inhale up, and then face your knee, hands on either side. This left hip is gonna wanna come up off the ground. Avoid that and push that hip down. Inhale, rise up. Other side. Good. 
You want to open up from your chest. Feel the stretch in your side body. Come up. Turn towards your knee. Ooh, I got your <laughs> in my face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Inhale, rise up. Bring your feet back behind you. And press back to downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale through, half pigeon on the left. Find the center of your hips. Inhale here, exhale, walk your hands forward. On your next inhale, walk your hands back up. You're welcome to stay here or come into double pigeon. Bring your right leg around, cross it over your knee. So your foot should be outside of your knee. This is a little bit too much for you. You don't have to fold over. You can just stay right here. Otherwise, exhale, walk your hands forward. Take a few deep breaths, relax into this pose. On your next inhale, walk your hands up. Release your leg. Bring your soles of your feet together. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up. Straighten your legs out to the side. Then to your own extent, start to walk your hands forward. It's okay to let your feet fall forward as you come forward. And maybe stay here, this is great. Or if you want to go into full split, start to bring your body forward and relax into it. Ooh, you're bendy. <laughs> Take one more deep inhale, and then exhale. Gently bring your body out of this pose. Bring your feet underneath you. Bring your hands to heart center. Welcome for joining us for our stretch today. Great work. You guys are awesome. You are halfway done. This was workout number five. We'll see you right here next time at Jimra.